What is going on guys? My name is Magic Bambi and welcome back to yet another video. Today I'm going to be giving you a little first impressions kind of video on the game The Fifth Day. It came out on early access, I believe, maybe at the max a week ago. And I just have not had the time or the willingness to make a video on this game. Just because of the fact that I really haven't been playing it a lot. Um, I did buy it, so I, you know, there's no torrents that I downloaded I'm sorry I actually paid the $15 for the early access and um, to be honest I really wish I hadn't um, but uh, maybe you guys have a little bit of a different opinion on the game uh, basically I'm gonna give mine and hopefully if it's if it matches yours and maybe you'll like the game maybe you won't and I guess uh, we'll go from there so first of all I mean it's obviously another survival game as you guys are used to seeing on my channel, which is what I usually like to do. I mean, I might branch off here and there, um, but survival games are probably my favorite genre, which is a main reason why I actually bought this game. So my hopes were, I mean, they were standard just because of the fact that it was an early access and it was only alpha 0.001. So it was a very first release. And I mean, you can't have very, very high standards for a game that's, you know, just released in alpha 001. But, if they are to release it in that current stage, you would expect at least a little bit of stuff in the game already, so you can get a general idea of what the game will be in the future. So instead of a survival zombie apocalypse kind of game, this is actually robots, okay? So you're actually a robot as yourself, and basically you're after the apocalypse happened, and you're trying to survive the wasteland in what the humans created, and I mean, you're a robot, and you Basically, it's it's really different than from what your standard survival games nowadays. It's not zombies. It's not uh, cannibals on an island, aka the forest. It's it's not rust. It's it's the fifth day. I mean, it's it's got a whole different game aspect to it that you wouldn't expect to come out these days. Well, let me rephrase that. It's not the same as what you'd expect because of all the survival games that are coming out these days. It's always kind of the same idea: uh, multiplayer PvP. Uh, zombies, wasteland, apocalypse, looting, daisy kind of styles, and then this game comes out 00.1 alpha, and it's all about robots. So as you can see, it in my hand, I'm actually uh, using this. I guess you could call it a scanner. I don't know the exact name, just because of the fact that I haven't played the game that long, and it basically scans around you for enemies, and it's one of the items you actually start with. So good luck on that, and you can actually see the robots that are either following you or you come upon. And, um, you can kill them if you do happen to find a weapon. I do find, I mean, two weapons up in this... I don't know what the hell this thing is called. It's like a huge spire-looking thing. Alien technology, something like that. Robot technology. And, um, I find two weapons in there. And they do happen to kill, um, a couple of robots. It's not very effective. And hopefully they'll improve the engine-wise aspects of that. Just because of the fact that it was so odd trying to kill them. And, um, it doesn't really have a exact number that you're supposed to shoot them with, and it's just a really weird aspect to the game, which is why I wish I hadn't paid the whole $15. I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad game. I'm just saying it, it in my eyes, it's not really worth 15 whole dollars. I mean, if it was $4.99 on Steam, hell, I'd go for it, supporting the developers and everything. But, in its current state, $15, I would not recommend the price. If you guys have a different opinion on the game, Go ahead, maybe watch some videos of it, and hopefully you enjoyed this one, and maybe give you a good idea of what to expect. And uh, if you guys don't like the game, let me know in the comment section down below, as well as if you like the game. So hopefully they do happen to add stuff in the future. Um, I'll be sure to keep watch for stuff like that. Also, um, I also have a lot of other survival games to look out stuff for. So it's going to be a tight fit in my little schedule of game watching I guess you could call but hopefully they do happen to add some good stuff in the future that I can look forward to hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did the like buttons down below and hopefully you guys got a little bit of information from this video that you guys can take from so thanks again for watching this is Magic Bambi signing out